This informational text is a nonfiction book. It's called Under the Ground. The writing was done by Anna Milborn, and the illustrations were all done by Serena Rulietti. Under the Ground is mostly scientific fact. Part of it's pretend play, because children really can't dig all the way through to the center of the earth and come out the other side. But it's fun to think about. Four very smart and talented women teamed up to make this book. The book was edited by Jillian Doherty. Anna Milborn was the writer. The illustrator was Serena Riglietti. And the design of the book was done by Laura Parker. Have you ever wondered what's under the ground? There's a whole world down there, beneath your feet. If you dug down a little way, you'd find plant roots reaching out to suck up water from the soil, and hungry, creepy crawlies munching through them. Nearby, you might discover a miniature kingdom where Queen Ant has laid a thousand tiny eggs, and lots of little worker ants are busy bringing food A little deeper, a snuffly mole digs blindly through the soil. He sniffs a juicy, wriggly worm, tugs it out, and tucks it down. Running away from a fierce fox, a rabbit leaps into her burrow, where her family is cuddled up safe and sound. If you dug a little further, you'd see hundreds of crisscrossing pipes. Some bring electricity to light up all of the street lamps, and some bring clean water to each and every house. Other pipes carry dirty water away from toilets, sinks, and baths. Robots crawl through them to make sure none have sprung a leak. There's a rumble in a tunnel and a train zooms by. Lots of trains rush around under the bustling streets of the city. They carry people from station to station all day long. Deeper still, there's solid rock, patterned with stripes and swirls. Buried in the rock are the twirly shells of animals that lived long ago, and a ferocious dinosaur's big old bones. They've been there so long that they've turned to stone. As water seeps through the ground, it wears away the rock, and after many, many years, caves, in some caves, there are furry bats dangling upside down, a lot of them. Other caves are so deep and dark that no one's ever seen them. Miles underground, Twinkling silver and gold are hidden inside the rock. Nobody put them there. They're just part of the earth. People dig deep mines to find them. They drill them out of the rock and take them away to make into rings and other pretty things. If you could dig even further underground, you'd be deeper than anyone's ever been. It gets hotter and rock melts into red gloop. You'd melt too, if you were really there. The earth is like an enormous ball. This is it, chipped in half so you can see. Right in the middle is the hottest part of all.
What do you think you'd find if somehow you could keep on going? You dig, dig, dig through stripy rock and bat-filled caves, past snuffly moles and tangled roots, and after that... You'd pop out the other side of the world on someone else's lawn, where they were busy wondering what's under the ground. The End And if you have a globe that you can put your hands on, put your one hand where you live. Put your other hand on the opposite side of the globe, and then look where your other hand is. If you could dig all the way through the earth, that's where you would come out. If you thought this book, Under the Ground, was fun to imagine yourself being underground, here is some music you can listen to, a song called Underground. And you can march around, it's got a beat you can march to and pretend you're a troll or an animal or a person living under the ground. It's a fun piece of music. Designed by Laura Parker, edited by Jillian Doherty, this science book for young learners has been Under the Ground. All the writing was by Anna Milborn, and the illustrations were by Serena Rilietti. Here are a couple of photographs of Serena, the artist, and um, an image from her illustrations of the Harry Potter books. Uh, J.K. Rowling very much liked the drawings that Serena did for Harry Potter. And if you like the writing by Anna Milborn, she wrote four wonderful books that are part of a series about mathematics being presented through stories. This is the web address where you can find out more information. When you're out walking in the country or in the city, remember there are fascinating things under the ground.